<sighs> Y'all, this is the most complicated hairstyle I have ever tried in my life. It is the struggle. Hey guys, my name is Ariana and welcome to my YouTube channel. For today's video, I got inspiration from a picture that I found on Pinterest and I normally like to go on Pinterest to find my natural hair or makeup inspiration. Throughout this video, I'm going to be inserting the picture periodically so you guys can keep up with the style that I'm trying to achieve. If this is your first time here, be sure to hit that subscribe button as well as turning on the notification bell so you guys will get alerts whenever I do upload. Just a heads up, I did already upload this video on the Curls All Natural YouTube channel as well because I am a brand ambassador for them but this hairstyle was too lit for me to not post on my own channel so you're welcome so let's just go ahead and jump right into the video ha <sighs> Pinterest time so I found this picture on Pinterest and normally that's where I go to find my inspiration for different hairstyles and this one actually looks kind of challenging so I just decided that I want to try it my hair is freshly co-washed I haven't detangled it yet because I didn't feel like it <laughs> If you guys see me looking down right here, it's because I'm looking at my computer screen and that has the hairstyle on it. I'm gonna start by kind of parting my hair across the middle. I'm just gonna do it with my fingers first and then go back and clean up the part. So I put the back of my hair in a ponytail and I'm just gonna start up here by making the parts for the braid that goes down the middle. And when you do this, you need to part your hair like off center, that way the two braids will be in the middle. For these sections over here, I'm just gonna twist them out of the way for now because I don't have any clips. To moisturize my hair, I'm going to be using the Aunt Jackie's Curl Mane, what is that? Oh, Curl Maintenance, okay, clever. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to be using their Defining Curl Whip for today just for moisturizer. Next, I'm just parting the section right here down the middle so I can create my two braids. Once I get to the end of my braid, I'm going to put a small black rubber band on the end just to make sure that the braid doesn't come out. Now I'm just going to do the exact same thing to this braid. Next I'm going to create the part that goes down this way. For the sake of keeping things organized, I'm just going to put rubber bands at the root of where the bantu knots are going to be at just so I don't like get confused. So again, I'm going to moisturize this section with the same moisturizer. Ouch. Woo. For the sections that are the bantu knots, I'm going to use two rubber bands instead of one just to keep it in place. So there is another part going back this way and as you guys can see I've already parted it and done the bantu knot. It's kind of hard to talk and part at the same time because I'm really trying to concentrate and make sure that I make my hairstyle look exactly like the picture. Okay so I've made my part right here and all I'm going to do is braid this up this way. Y'all, this is the most complicated hairstyle I have ever tried in my life. It is the struggle. So I'm just going to leave this braid here for now. I'm not going to put a rubber band on it because I'm really just trying to focus on sectioning my hair off first because it's kind of hard. <laughs> for the section right here, there are two braids on the picture, but I'm only doing one because my arms are about to fall off. <laughs> I've been doing my hair for a while and I've noticed that whenever I try to do braids and I try to get them like sleek down at the roots, the only thing that really works is edge control. I don't like edge control for my edges because they don't stay, but whenever I'm using it at the roots of my braid, it works great. For today, I'm going to be using the Aunt Jackie's Tame My Edges Smoothing Gel. So 
So now I'm going to part the last two Bantu knots. I'm going to part that section. So I have this last section of hair and all I'm doing is moisturizing it and I'm just going to twist it and get it out of the way for now. I finally have all the braids done for this section of hair so now I'm just going to put the bantu knots in there. So my hair is a little dry so I'm just going to periodically spritz my hair with water throughout this entire video. So I finally have one side of my head fully done and I'm going to do the exact same thing to the other side. All I'm doing now is like pulling the braid and seeing where it wants to naturally lay and that's where I'm going to make my part at on the other side. So now with this piece of hair that I've braided from this side and left right here, I'm going to attach that to this hair over here. Oh my goodness, <laughs> thank God I'm finally done with the braiding. It turned out pretty good, but that took forever. Like, oh my God, that took me probably, that took me about two hours just to do because it's hard to see and film at the same time. And like, if you're not a YouTuber or like a content creator, you don't understand the struggle of filming and trying to do something at the same time. Like, oh my God, how did I do? Does it look good? So now that the braids are done, I'm just going to focus on the back portion of my hair. I think I'm going to define my curls and then let it dry. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So from here on out, it's pretty much smooth sailing. All I do is just go section by section and I moisturize and style and then like gel my hair down and brush it out. It's pretty easy. To style my hair, all I use is the same moisturizer that I was using at the beginning of the video as well as following that up with Eco Styler Gel. And then to detangle my hair, I will always use my Demon Brush because that seems to be the only thing that will detangle my hair all the way through. And so as you guys can see, I just go section by section and I take my time detangling my hair and once I use the Denman Brush, I will then look at my hair again to see which pieces of my hair are still frizzy and then I will just go back in and add more gel onto those specific spots. So I have these hair rings and I'm going to attempt to put them in my hair. Hopefully they work. So I'm just sliding them like over the top of the bantu knot. Yeah, that's, that's gonna have to stay right there. I also have these hair clips and I'm just going to randomly place them in the front up here somewhere to like bring the whole look together. Whew, boy, that one hurt. Now 
Now y'all already know this would not be an Ariana tutorial without doing my edges. For today I'm just using Eco Styler Gel just because I'm going to work out later and I'm not really pressed about keeping my edges laid all day. So my hair is still wet so I think I'm going to try to pick out the roots right now. I don't know because I don't feel like waiting for it to dry. If I had a diffuser, trust me, I would be using the diffuser today. But I'm just picking up the hair and like picking out my roots. I'm not trying to pick out the curls because then that defeats the whole purpose of what I just did. Well, I guess this is as good as it's gonna get. So this pretty much wraps up the end of the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, feel free to give this video a big, big thumbs up. Follow me on all of my social media platforms. The name is going to be somewhere on the screen as well as the links down below in the description box. So I will see you guys in my next video.